Hey, Brandon Webb here with Brandon Webb Music. And uh, we're gonna do a little behind the music take on the new single, Are You Facing Me? And the reason for that is I, I want you to know the heart behind the song. Um, at least for me as a writer, it gives me a perspective and an understanding of where the writer's coming from, but it also paints a different picture for me when I understand the story and how it came to be. And that's, you know, that's kind of what songwriting's about for me. It's like the Bible's a mosaic picture and all those little shapes and messages come together to form the message. And so that's what, what I want you to make sure you understand with this song, Are You Facing Me? <clears throat> so my family and I are in Arkansas and we're, we're watching the Passion play. And Bob Willis, uh, a sculptor down there, a pastor as well, uh, He's doing this testimonial teaching before the play starts, and he's sculpting this face. And you know, in my mind, I'm thinking it may be Christ, it may not be. You don't know, but he's going in steps and in layers and building the story as you watch him create this artwork in front of you. And it was Christ that he was building. Phenomenal, phenomenal artist as well. Um, but he told a story in the middle of his teaching and his testimony about a young boy who had lost his mama. And uh, it's just he and daddy at home. And we as parents, whether it be a little girl or a little boy or whatever it is, you're, you'll get the message behind this immediately. Um, the little boy calls out of the dark to his dad after he puts him to bed, you know, he's like, daddy, I want a drink. And so his daddy goes and gets him a drink. And as Bob's telling the story, he's like, of course the kid takes a sip of the water and sets it down. He, didn't, <laughs> he wasn't even thirsty, he just wanted his daddy. His daddy goes down and lays down again. A little time goes by and he calls out again, you know, daddy, daddy. So he goes into his son and he says, you know, daddy, will you lay down with me? And the boy's scared. He wants his daddy near. So of course the father lays down with him and comforts his son. And, and Bob again tells the story. He's like, it's so dark in the room that you can't see each other. And so the little boy calls out of the dark, daddy, are you facing me? And right then, bam, I don't know how to explain it to you. But the Spirit does something to me when it wants me to pay attention. And I don't, I don't know how to explain the feeling, but immediately I'm like, Phew. you better get your ears on board because you're going to be writing about this. And that's what Bob does. He turns that and he says, so that picture is precious to our Father. Father, are you facing me? Daddy, are you facing me? And he goes on with the story. And of course, everyone there got the point. And the play was awesome. But... but a couple of days go by and I'm working on some stuff and, and I sit down to play a song that I'd written several years ago and I start playing the song and, and I, I played the chords but I played it wrong um, and something about it being wrong took a whole new move for me and I had that same feeling again and so immediately I kind of just went off into prayer and, and went through this progression of this, these chords for probably three, four, five minutes and I'm just thinking and praying and talking to the Lord and Boom, are you facing me? Started to come together. First one is uh, almost to a T, my little boy. Um, and he's afraid there's spiders under the bed. And, uh, you know, it tells the story about the daddy going in and laying down next to him in the dark. And, and the little boy asking him to wrap his arms around him, you know, so that he can close his eyes, so that he, he can rest. And the chorus, of course, is talking about, are you facing me there in the dark, you know? Can you see me where I am? And verse 2 is where it really got personal for me. I can't tell you how many times I cried writing this thing. Uh, it's about the father, the daddy, calling out to the father. And the father says, Son, I've called your name. Come stand in the light. Let me open your eyes. And I'll wrap my arms around you and I'll hold you tight because I see you there in the dark. And so that message just became so intimate that oftentimes we're so distracted by what's going on around us. Um, there's another little story that I need to share that I'm actually probably going to write another song or spin off. And this, this all came together just yesterday, I think, maybe the day before. So related to what this song, Are You Facing Me, and where that story comes from that I just told you. Uh, it was about my daughter, and she's in Bass Pro Shop, and she kept kind of wandering off from me. You know, not far, but just, hey, baby, you need to pay attention, and, you know, stay close to Daddy. There's a lot of people. And I stumbled across these notes, um, and in the notes, I, I had written down the description of, of what I saw and what I understood. And I had forgotten 
um, until I read it. And this is like my daughter was probably five and she's driving now, you know, it's crazy how the timing of this came together. My God's timing, right? And I could see her mouth saying, daddy, 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 daddy. And she wasn't eight feet from me. But in the crowd and the distractions and the things going on in the building, she lost track of where I was. And she, she was calling my name. But I was right there. Her daddy was right there with her. And that's the same picture <laughs> that I'm trying to paint in this song, Are You Facing Me? So, man, I hope it ministers to you. And this time that we're in right now, whew, do we need to pay attention to what's going on around us for sure. But um, our main focus needs to be on our daddy and facing him in the darkness and the joys and the victories, whatever it is. And his word tells us that he seeks for worshipers to worship him in spirit and truth. And I believe that. And so, man, hey, comment down below the way this world works. Like and share, subscribe, all that stuff. You guys know how it works. But I hope it blesses your heart. And uh, I'd love to stay in contact with you guys. God bless. He tries to go to sleep at night The door shut tight Can't keep the thoughts out of his head The spiders underneath the bed So he calls me in Daddy, would you stay a while?
I see. 